Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another Ouya video. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, today, why don't we look at, what haven't we looked at yet? Here we go. Here are House of the Lost. Let's see what this game's about. You know, all this time, ever since the update, oh, by the way, full gain's $5. I still haven't gotten used to pressing U. I'm still used to tapping O. F5 Games presents House of the Lost. So you can play co-op, options, credits, and again, the full game was uh, five bucks, was it? Aww. Hey, what's over there? Free can- don't listen to the sign! Apparently, it was candy corn. And as we all know, candy corn sucks. So, never listen to those free candy signs, kids. It's nothing but awful, awful candy corn. Anyways, why to shoot a D-pad to move or analog? A use item is R or L1. So, why am I only shooting that direction? Oh, I see. Okay, so okay, so it's not Y to shoot. Uh, o U Y A is which direction you shoot. So O U Y A. Okay, so can I shoot this? So. Quick question, is this a Binding of, not Binding of Isaac, but a, a roguelike game? I already got hit once, ah! So yeah, there we go. Because, like I said, these roguelike games, the big thing about it is they're completely randomly generated, loots randomly generated, all that. All right, cool, got him before he got a shot off. All right. Again, can I break any of this stuff? And if you look down in the lower middle, it is a uh, mini map. Oh, sweet, I got coins. There we go. Sweet, health back. Sweet. Oh, I. <laughs> Again, like, can I break this box? No, I can't. Oh, well. Nice picture, by the way. Little family album. So apparently we were walking out with our girlfriend and she went for free candy and was uh, brutally murdered by a serial killer. Shite, I got stuck in the corner, which is the last thing you want to do in these games is get yourself stuck in a corner. So this is the only, so there is. Ah, you bastard, I'm down to one health. Yeah, so that's the interesting thing about if this is like a roguelike game is that it's always completely different each time you play it. Rather the uh, layout, ah, fudge you. Uh, try again. Yeah, see, this is, okay, so it is completely different each time. Okay. So that means I need to play some more to figure out where stuff is. I'm assuming I can't touch that. So what's this? Do I need a key for that? And where's the store? There's usually stores in these ones. Dang it, you're getting stuck in the corner again. Remember what I said about that being the last place you want to be? Aww, are you stuck? Well, good news. I am here to help you. I have the solution right here in my pocket. It's called your death. Oh, he moved. Less dramatic if he actually, you know, walks for a little bit. Oh, shite. Okay, anyways. Yeah, there's almost no avoiding that. By the way, that was uh, one mechanic I discovered there. The door doesn't lock until you get out of it. What did I pick up? I got a popsicle. So I'm assuming that's an item. Okay, so I can't go in this door, but I can unlock this door. So I don't know what the popsicle does yet, but it is an item. Okay, so that just slows you down is all his... I thought it actually would hurt you, but... There we go. So yeah, you do have an item slot in there. I wonder if that's health or if it's... Oh, shite. This is a mini boss, isn't it? I'll just stay here in a the corner. They seem to be blocked by the furniture. Uh, whew, that was close. Ha ha. 
What's wrong, big boy? Can't get. Uh, okay, you can't get around furniture. I can't seem to. Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's a projectile with a reload time. Oh, I didn't go through all the rooms yet. Damn it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve possible rooms? Start level two. So, yeah, that item, if you look down, it says reloading, so I could use it as a spell, it looks like. Oh, oh, shoot, sorry, I'm heart attack in real life. I, I got distracted there for a second, so let me go up here. Uh, and let's try this again. So, what happens if I hit them? It slows them down. So yeah, it is a ice projectile, essentially. Stay lost. Wait a minute, what? Uh, okay. So if, oh shit. So if you select the stay lost option, it replays the level you were on. So this is the same as it was before. And really, I don't have to kill any of these guys. I can just move on. These guys I have to kill. So yeah, so it does look like you can collect different weapons and use them. I don't think he damages me as much as he does slow me down. Guess they can actually hurt you with their bullets. All right, got my key. So yeah, this is the same level as I played before. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a, what's, what the? Oh, it's a new gun. So now I have kind of like a water gun, which is rapid fire. Almost like a spit gun. Got you stuck in the corner. Come here, big guy. Can I do the same with you? I can. Well, looks like you're stuck by mechanics. All right, got my heart. Let's move on to level two again. So yeah, again, a fun little binding of Isaac, roguelike, whatever you want to say. There's two lock keys here. Now this, uh, he actually pushed me into another room. All right, fine. There we go. Sweet, look at that. Okay, I'm doing all right. I'm doing well. Let's see. Oh, again, it's always the first guy that's a mini boss or a boss. Always seems to be a regular after that. Always remember that in like every Power Ranger or anime series even. Like the first thing they fought, which was a big deal, always seemed to be the uh, the atypical bad guy they have to face throughout the series. So, the typical foot soldier. So, if Star Wars was like that, the first major boss you would fight would be a stormtrooper. Then after that, the stormtrooper becomes what it is in Star Wars. I shite. If that analogy makes any sense, let me know. Comment down below. <laughs> oh, it's like a holy water. So, same thing. So it's a holy water bazooka. Nice. All right, so I have one key. Let's go this way. So you, evil me. Was I supposed to kill the shadow? I assume so. Again, I'm collecting gold, but I don't know if I could use it anywhere. All right, let's get around them. Again, it's a simple mechanics. Again, I'm using the D-pad and the O-U-Y A buttons. Milk. Oh, that's a one-time use. Shoot. That's a health thing. So, yeah. Oh, that's a boss room. Do I need a boss key or will it just open up after this? I could have used that milk now. Shite. All right, let's go actually go back, see if I can get some health in this room. 
Because I don't want to face a boss with only one uh, thing of health. Come on. Oh, you suck. By the way, how am I supposed to get... Oh, I, okay. No, I want to keep the bazooka, actually. Well... Shite. How do I get up there? They gave me one key. Hmm. So, I get, apparently it can actually have doors where you can't pass that close off to you, I guess. So let's see what the boss is. Well, look at that. So, I could try again, which does a completely new first level. Okay. So, I could play more of this, and I probably will, but I'm a... Again, it's one of those games that's always brand new, randomly generated levels. Very fun. Again, reminds me of Binding of Isaac, in that sense. Very much, you know, that top-down look where you're firing and enemies and random stuff happens. So, yeah, very Binding of Isaac-like. So, again... The full game was five bucks, was it? House of the Lost. Uh, let's see. Yeah, five dollars. And it's co-op, so you could actually play with a friend to help you out. Very fun. Anyway, so yeah, there's a quick look at the game. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.